Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Charlotte Holdcroft. Before I get into what we are doing and everything, I have to tell you guys this little, tiny little story. So I had my knee replacement surgery at the end of May and if you've ever had surgery, you know what like anesthesia brain is. A, I buy things and don't remember doing it. I talk to people and then fall asleep in the middle of it. It's like, it's like that. Well, apparently I had stumbled across one of her videos during this time. I think she did a video with like influencers that aren't recognized or her top ones, something happened and I commented on it, but I had forgotten about it. And I wholeheartedly thought that I had found her and I think I commented on one of her videos and it just didn't even make sense. But Charlotte, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you will, I, I don't know what I was doing. I have no idea. I really thought that I found you, but I think it was the other way around. So if any of my comments didn't make sense, it was just because I had surgery brain. It's just because of surgery brain. But I reached out to her and asked her if she would like to collab because I really enjoyed her. And I think she only had like two or 3,000 subscribers whenever I found her. And uh, then she did this amazing video talking about the reasons your makeup don't necessarily always come out like the big influencers. If you haven't seen that video, you need to check it out. And she blew up overnight. I want her to continue to grow, so I want you guys to go check her out. Today's collaboration is her sending me stuff from the UK and I'm sending her stuff from the US. It was so much easier for me because she just had this whole list of brands that she can't get in the UK. Whereas for me, I'm spoiled by the US. <laughs> I was no help to her at all. She kept sending me, can you get this? Can you get this? And it's like, I think that I can. <laughs> she sent me this entire box. This one right here that I have clearly now dug into. But if you want to see how I created this look using products I've never seen, never heard of, never used before, just keep watching. I went ahead and put my foundation on because she did tell me there's no foundation in here. So that's the only thing I put on and I did my brows. I didn't even think about that. I think I'm so used to doing my brows first I didn't think about it. So hopefully that's not in here. But I've got my box, has not been opened. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. We are in. <laughs> I'm gonna put this thing in my lap so I don't make a huge mess. I have a card that says, hey beauty on here. So I'm gonna open this guy first. Fun fact, when I got to the post office to send her package, I had a card and it was in her package. Well, I got there and I, everything was packed up, whatever. And uh, yeah, it was gonna cost me an arm and a leg to send her her package. And they're like, if you could just get it down to three pounds, it was going to take like less than half, like quite a bit less than half to ship it. So I was like, okay. So I opened this thing up. I took out like five foundations because I didn't know what shade she would be in. So I'm like, okay. So I was sending her all these options. And then when I went to put everything back together and I taped it up, I had left the card out. So she had a card initially. Okay, so it says, thank you for everything you've done. So grateful. You're too kind. I really appreciate it. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> We're officially pen pals now. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole thing. <laughs> she says, I hope your family enjoys the treats. And if you don't die for the something pigs, we cannot be friends. I don't even know what she's talking about yet, but I better like them. Aw, that was so cute. I'm gonna keep this forever. Now I wanna know what these pigs are though. Like, okay, back into the box. The first thing I have in the box is the M&S English breakfast tea bags. Do I need to go like, do I need to go boil some water? I think I need to go boil some water. Okay, before I go boil some water, I'm going to keep dipping into this bag. And then while I'm getting ready, I'm gonna have that boiling. There is a blending sponge. So I'm going to wet this. This is, just says B. Who is B? Latex free? I don't know what brand this is, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get this wet. <laughs> okay, I've gotten everything out of the box except for the candy, but I found the pig, so I had to show you. I feel like I should try one of these right now. It's Percy Pig Soft Gums made with fruit juice. No artificial colors. Mmm. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and dip into this. Or dip in. I'm gonna stick my hand into the bag. Oh, it already smells good. Look at them. They're little pigs. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I actually love gummies. I feel like I should be covering my mouth. This is so weird. 
Good news, we can still be friends, Charlotte, because those are super yummy and they're cute. They're freaking little pig faces. <laughs> I'm gonna go wet this and then I will be right back. Oh, and I'm gonna start my boiling water. All right, the next thing we have is a concealer. I have tried this before, but the shade I had was too light. This is from Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer, and the shade is C5. Like, the one I had was C2, and it's like, who liked? So we're gonna try this again. I have a bruise underneath my eye. I got Botox two days ago, and I get it underneath my eyes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I bruised, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. Just gonna go in with my MAC palette. This is the Conceal and Correct, and it's the lighter one. Uh, it, I'm sure you guys are like, what? I will talk about Botox in a video. Look, that's so much better already. Um, just watch out for it. I can't film. The experience, they don't let me, but yeah, I'll talk about it. All right, now going in with the concealer, I do have my little sponge wet as well. Oh yeah, this color's way better. <laughs> Got my sponge wet, and I'm just going to press this in. I heard the water start boiling, so I went ahead and got my mug. Let me know down below if you know who this is. But here's the thing. I don't make tea. Like how many bags do I put in there? So I gotta, I'm gonna set this cause I don't see a powder here. So I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup the way I normally would. And I'm gonna put this tea bag or bags <laughs> into my mug. So that can be brewing. Wait, are you supposed to put, I probably should have read the directions. Are you supposed to put the tea bags in the actual, like I don't have a pot, I had to do it in like the little, leave me alone, I don't make tea. <laughs> I like tea, I just don't make it. This is from Powder Blush Rosy Glow Natural Collection, made in Germany. This is pretty cool, it just says blush over it. And this one, let's see. One of the, Ooh, this, okay, anybody else ever use the Max Factor Stick Foundation? That was like, I stole it from my sister when I was growing up. So, ooh, that color. I think I'm gonna start off with this, yeah. There's not a bronzer, so I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Rosewood Bronzer. And while I do that, there's two more things of candy in here, so I'm gonna try one of those. This looks like a good choice. So this is M&S, so same brand as the tea, and it's Clotted Cream Fudge. All right, so I got the little guy. Mmm. <laughs> I have such an issue eating on camera. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna need another one of those. Those like melt in your mouth. These are so good. Ooh, that's good. That is so refreshing. Very refreshing. I couldn't describe it to you because I don't drink a lot of tea but it tastes good. Now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Stick Blush. Again, this is in the shade. What shade are you? It just says blush. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on directly to my sponge, just on its side. I don't know how much to get. I don't want it to be too much. So this went on really easily, no issues. I'm a little scared to use this because I feel like it's gonna be too dark. Maybe I'll try just a hint. Natural Collection Rosy Glow. I'm gonna go in with a really fluffy brush. This is from Kylie, it's the number three. And I'm just, I'm literally tapping in there. I'm gonna go a little, oh, okay, that's not bad. A little further back. Especially when I'm gonna buff over top of it anyway. That always lightens up my blush. She sent me two different types of highlighters. So this one is from MUA Makeup Academy. I've never used anything from them. It's really pretty. And then Gosh Lumi Drops in Rose Gold. I have a feeling this is gonna be too dark. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Let me see. Yeah, this is a little too dark for me. It kind of shears out on my hand, but it's still, it's just a little too dark 
for myself. So I'm going to go in with the safe bet. Here she is. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. I'm going to go in with my Linda Hallberg 306. Ooh. Ooh, she pretty. It's like gold and a little bit of green. This kind of reminds me a little bit of that Pat McGrath one. Ooh. Is she real cute? Very blingy. Like that is that is intense. I'm here for it. I'm just gonna go in with my Sicily powder and my Sonia Kashuk large powder brush. I'm just going to buff right around the edges of this. I know this is an eyeshadow palette. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna open this up. So this is also from Makeup Academy, and this is the 15 shade palette Fire Vixen. So I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit, and I'm gonna use this on my eyes. This whole top row right here is like, Mel, Mel, use me, love me. <laughs> oh wait, there's one other thing. The Revol Makeup Revolution London Hyaluronic Fix Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. I wanna do this before I do my eyes. Let's go ahead. We gotta do a test pump. Okay. First row, third shade. I'm starting off with that. And a MAC 217. I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. Same shade on a MAC 221. I'm gonna run that right along the lower lash line. Last shade in the first row. I'm going to deepen up the crease. MAC 242 and the second shade in the top row. Just applying this all over the lid. First shade in the last row for the inner corner. I'm also going to put that at my brow arch. All right, so eyes are done. All I need to do is add on mascara, which I have here, and I also have lipstick. But I have one more candy here, and it has the name Cadbury on here, which uh, I'm a big fan of Cadbury eggs. So this is a crunchy. Never seen these before, but it's going to my mouth right now. It kind of looks like a little, I don't know, like a Snickers. No, it looks like a Three Musketeers. I'm like, I know, I know this shape. <laughs> All right, let's dip in. I'm trying to figure out what that center is, but it just says milk chocolate with golden honeycomb center. So good. So this is the mascara I have to use. It's from L'Oreal. I have never, never seen this before. It is called the Unlimited Mascara. That looks crazy. Let's open this guy. The wand is like one of those like um, plasticky kind. It's very interesting. Let's try this guy out. All right, now let's finish off with a lipstick. She sent me two. This one is from Gosh. I'm assuming it's gonna be something along this line right here, and this is 82 Exotic. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And here is the color, so definitely the same as the bottom of it, and it has Gosh written on it. I'm gonna swatch this. That's what it looks like. Hmm. So one more. This one. Let's look to see what the other one looks like. This one is from Sarah Hill. I think it's Hill. And it just says lipstick and it's Prima Lip. Yeah, Prima. Ooh, and this one's a nice pink. Ooh, I don't know which one to go for. Maybe I'll just try them both on. So I'll start off with the pink because... This is the Sarah Hill Prima. And now I'm going to put on the Gosh one as well. All right, you guys, this is it. I have officially tried everything. I like the way my look came out. I mean, this is kind of like a traditional Mel look. <laughs> but this was so much fun. It's nice trying things that you've never even seen before, never heard before. This was a lot of fun. Please go check out Charlotte if you haven't already. She's such a gem. I know you guys will really like her. Let her know that I sent you over there, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.